guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, welcome to day four of 30 paintings in 30 days. I have, as usual, a watercolor palette in front of me, some brushes, a small um, plate to mix on, gel pen, my whiteout pen, um, an inspirate book of inspiration images off camera that way that I don't think you can see. Well, you can kind of see a corner, but that's okay. Um, it's not important that necessarily you see what's in the, in the book because that's just for me to take inspiration from. So anyway, we are going to get started. And I think we're gonna go botanical today. Um, as usual, I'm gonna get started with my half inch flat. It's my favorite brush in case you didn't have a clue yet. My water is very dirty, but that's okay. Um, and I think we are going to start with, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some of the Prussian blue, just a little bit. A little bit goes a really long way on this pal on this color. So these are Daniel Smith colors, FYI. I'm gonna really kind of water it down a lot and cover up the painting that we already did. And maybe the one we haven't done yet. There we go. I'm gonna flick some. Oh, we got it way over here. Okay, and then we're gonna take some water and blend that out just a little bit, just like that. So one thing I am gonna do is try to come over here. My, now my brush is very dirty, or I'm sorry, my water, but this I just put this down. Um, the Prussian do blue isn't completely staining, so I can get most of it off and that's fine. Okay, so that works for me. Add a little bit more and just we're gonna, you know, if you've been watching me painting for a while, you know that I really like to do my backgrounds first. I, I really detest having to go back in and retouch my background. So I like to get something interesting in the background first and then we'll paint the foreground. So that's what I'm doing. So now I'm gonna dry it. Okay, we're gonna switch to a round brush. This is a round number four. And I am going to go in with Mineral Violet, which, and I'm gonna just mix it with the color, the Prussian Blue that's on here. And look at that beautiful violet we get. That was Prussian Blue and Mineral Violet, both from Daniel Smith. Look at that, okay. So we're gonna go in and we're going to start in, I've got a picture just off camera of some flowers. I don't know what kind they are, but they're purple. <laughs> all I could really tell you about them is that they're purple. We're going to paint in just some sort of outliney shapes and then I'm going to go in with water. I'm going to let the ink run. The ink. It's not ink. The paint. The pigment. Y'all knew what I meant, right? If um, I waited too long between flowers to put the water down, although that was just a minute, some of it really set in well to the paint, then you can see what I'm doing is putting some water there and adding some more paint to just disguise some of the lines. And again, um, as I've said before many times, Jean Haynes is a favorite of mine. Um, Artist-wise, I'll link her um, something for, of hers in the description below. Um, she's a very suggestive painter and she likes to suggest shapes and color and rather than uh, paint a ton of detail. And I really, really have over the years been enjoying exploring that idea. I have a number of her books. In fact, I have Paint Yourself Calm um, just off camera on the table that I need to work through. So I'm gonna dry this because I don't want this to move anymore. Okay, using that same um, brush, the round number four, I'm going to grab some green and I'm gonna use undersea green. I think it's a nice sort of a muted green. 
and we're gonna just suggest some shapes here in the background. Um, we're not gonna, again, not gonna hopefully go too far before we come back in with some water, blur out some of the edges, More water just you know you're suggesting the foliage part of the flowers right not just the flowers I love this um, sort of muted um, undersea green. It's one of my favorite greens from Daniel Smith. FYI. Okay. Now, while that's drying, we're gonna go back in with, I'm gonna make some more of the mineral violet and um, Prussian blue, like a darker shade. Hopefully, I need some more of the violet. There we go. And I'm going to just define some of the shapes for some of the flowers. I'm barely touching my brush to the paper. You don't need to dig any holes to China with your paintbrush. A very light touch goes a long way. And as you saw, I just went and grabbed some water, blending out a few of those lines, not all of them. Add some pigment, add some water. And just keep at it with your layers until you get something that you really like. These little paintings are great for practice and doing little painting studies before you do a larger piece. You know, if you're really thinking about doing a commission for someone, I usually take a notebook and I'll do, sometimes I fill an entire uh, little paint uh, watercolor book or notebook with drawings and paintings for the client before we actually settle on the actual design uh, of what they're looking for. And um, there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some straight mineral violet up here. I'm lifting a little bit of it off because I think that's a little too much pigment. So I just went in with a damp brush and I'm just brushing it up. There we go. And it's just lifting some of the pigment off. You can also spread it out like that. Need a little bit more over here. Just kind of putting water in the middle so the pigment moves around sort of on its own. That's looking pretty good. We need a little bit of undersea green, I think, right here. to sort of suggest stems. Okay, now the inspiration photos on this page, and there's more than one, um, all have purple with shades of orange in them. And so I'm gonna take some of our um, Hansi yellow, it's a brighter yellow. Made too much purple, so I don't have a lot of room on my, on my palette here. And I'm gonna take some of the Quadocrito magenta
and hopefully get an orange. It looks still really red, let's see. That's better. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do some dots. Just dotting the page. Very tip of the paintbrush. Again, no digging any holes to China. We don't need to do that. Just dotting the page, just suggesting those flower centers, yeah? Just like that. Let's give it a try. Okay, let's take the tape off. Or some of the tape off. I still have to do this other side of the book, so. Tape doesn't want to come off. Let's we'll roll it backwards so we can get a good look at the painting. There we go. There we go. That's a pretty cute little painting. What do you think? So that is painting four in our 30 paintings in 30 days series. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. If you're like me, you've been collecting books of inspiration photos um, or pictures on a, a Pinterest boards for years. It's time to break those out, Get take your um, mobile device to your desk and open that Pinterest board. If you've been taping them into a book like I have been, um, then get those books out and let's create some paintings from those inspiration photos. You're not looking to copy, you're just looking to be inspired by. And let's do that and let's get it done already, right? What are we waiting for? All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be right back. How was that? for today's painting. I hope you enjoyed the process. And um, if you want instruction on the painting, you need to be over on Patreon. They are gonna get the talking version here on YouTube. You're just gonna get the speed through, through version, sorry. Um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.